everyone out there in YouTube land. I hope that everybody is doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I am getting ready to eat. Um, I don't know if this is lunch or dinner. We'll see what happens. Um, I'll show you a clip of what I'm eating uh, <laughs> at the end of this video. So yeah, I just hope that everybody is doing well. I am just coming with another, um, like a life, not a really, well, life skill, but like a Titus 2 tip for us today. Um, <laughs> I can't trouble in the background y'all so if you hear anything <laughs> so anyway uh just wanted to come you know and, and we understand that you know that it's important to be economical a lot of us you don't always have to because some have more than enough some are barely making it and then we have uh you know a middle ground but i always believe that even if you don't have to scrimp or um, um, you know, be economical or frugal or be, you know, or whatever, I still believe that you shouldn't have the skills and also do what? Teach them to your family. So, um, like with milk, with the case of, uh oh, I'm sorry, I don't even have a milk carton here. Hold on. Okay, I got so, I got a little sidetracked. Um, so I forgot the, ga the uh, gallon that I wanted to use. Uh, so this is a gallon of milk. And some of us know this and some of us don't. But when you, um, and like I was saying, you don't have to save money. But I think it's important to save money whether you have uh, a lot of money or not. And again, it's good to, uh, because you never know what could be coming along uh, in the future. So you definitely want to have these skills in your arsenal, in your pocket, and in the pocket of your family members. Your children need to understand and know things as well. These things were taught. I'm sorry, people are in this house again, guys. So anyway, so this is a gallon of, well, it's not a gallon of milk, but let's say for the sake of this video, this is a gallon of milk. The way you can split this milk, now milk costs a lot. I mean, it depends on which one you get. This is probably about a four or five dollar or more gallon because I know I pay about four something for this. And this is a half a gallon. I happened to be at the store some weeks ago because I used this to make my kefir. This one, Kelowna, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's a decent milk and it has a little fat, at the, a little cream at the top. I kind of like that. Um, so anyway, um, and I was, I was at a, uh, one of our international stores and this was on sale for $2.99. Of course, it was about to go, so they have to get rid of it. So it was $2.99. I was like, oh, let me get this. You know, I picked it up. And uh, which was right on time because I was just getting ready to make some um, kefir. So this is these are half gallons, but here's a gallon. So this is probably about six dollars. You can get a gallon of milk for about two to two to six dollars uh, or more, probably depending on where you get it from and what type it is. Now, what you can do? These are dry milks. Now, no dry milk. Uh, has um, you know has co it's come a long way, but it had used to have a really bad. It used to be a really bad uh, have a really bad rap because it was so hard to uh, mix and whatnot. But the and this one is better. Not not don't really care for this particular brand that that much. I mean it's okay. Let me see if the other side. Oh, it's got the is so. There was another kind that's called a uh, rainbow. Oh God, such a good creamy full fat delicious milk uh so i love can we love these milks they're very economical to purchase you know 20 to 30 dollars and you know you got milk all the time you don't have to worry about refrigeration i mean well you got to worry about refrigeration after you make wait make it but it's not something that you have to worry about storing uh as far as refrigeration is concerned so nonetheless i digress so what you could do is when you have a gallon of milk, you can separate these two into halves and add some dry milk to it. And that would give you two gallons of milk for the what price of one. And preferably you make it really delicious and your family will never detect it. Don't ever let them really know what you're doing. A lot of times, you know, some of the things, you know, you need to let them know. But some things, you got to be careful how you let them know because <laughs> they'll reject it. <laughs> oh, oh, this don't taste right. I don't like the way it tastes, blah, blah, blah. Although, you know, in our day and when we were bringing up our children, 
you know, they didn't have to, they couldn't talk like that. You know, nowadays children can tell you they're not going to eat it and they don't eat it and all of that. Mm -mm. We have to eat it. Do you eat it or you wear it? <laughs> no, but uh, on a serious note, you know, but just be very careful. But these are ways, you know, to be, you know, to be cost um, uh, wise in your home. So one gallon can make two for the price of one when you add a powder or dry milk to it. This one is a non-fat. This is a full cream. And there are many full cream uh, kinds. There are many non-fat. But I have not seen it. Somebody gave me these off of uh, Facebook, off of one of our Facebook groups. I had a few of these. I'm just trying to um, compile them so that I will have them. Because I've seen milk, dry milk, because I was going to buy some, like this kind, you know, these, this kind versus this kind. And it was quite expensive, and I was like, ooh, that's quite expensive. But they have these in different, like, CSA packages. If you, if you, um, uh, what do you call it, go to food pantries, they have them. And, you know, I'm just saying for ways to get them if you, you know, don't have a way to get them or whatever. But anyway, that was all I wanted to share with us, you know, uh, you know, to teach our children these things. And again, like I said, you might not need to do this right now, but it's still good to have that information so that you don't have to, when you're at, if you're low on money or you, you your situation changes in any kind of way, you know what to do. You don't have to say, well, do I get a gallon of milk or what do I do? You get that milk and then you know how to store or and, and, and or have these things already stored up in your pantry because there are these are pantry items. And even though they have expiry dates on them, those expiry dates, you know, as long as you're keeping them in a cool, you know, decently temperatured, dry place. They could last for a very, very long time. Anyway, so I'll talk to you later. I'm going to be getting sitting down to eat right now. I'll show you what I'm eating in a minute. Hope you like it. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now. Love you. Hey, see the dinner roll. Hear the dinner. Listen to it talking. Ah, just warm this up. Just cabbage, collard greens, uh, various peppers, red, orange, yellow, bell peppers. Uh, mushroom, there's celery, there should be garlic, there's carrots, and uh, that's a cabbage, and um, onions, I'm sure. And I'm going to put some fresh onion on top of here. We're just going to have this with rice for now. Uh, yeah, looking good. Look at some of the mushrooms there. Mm -hmm. Talk to you later. Bon appetit. Eat well. Eat fresh. Eat more vegetables than you can. As many vegetables as you can in a variety of ways.